not allowed to discuss that. Okay. That it wasn't a valid... I have the text message. This it wasn't a, a valid subject matter for number, her to discuss. Number one. In which, a medical class? It's very valid. Yes. Number two. Um, she um, So she's not allowed to discuss it. So the whole So report, obviously she probably had to redo it She had to redo quick. report yeah. on something else. That's one. Um, two, education on college medical people. Look up. I, I, Tell the one story. You don't have to mention the doctor's name. Um, Tell the story of this doctor. Now, keep in mind, how long have we known him? 20 plus years, right? Before that. Okay, but I'm saying, and he's been a doctor how long probably prior to that? Probably another six or eight years. He's 60 years old, so you do the math. Okay, there you go. So, you know. He's been um, practicing over 40 years. He's 60? He graduated wow. early. Wow. Graduated early. Um, wow. I had asked. Yeah. This Pardon me. You just blew me away with that. I, Maybe he's not. I don't know. I don't know. I, Anyhow. I, I he, thought he was my age, to be honest with you. But he's older than me then, is what yes. you're saying. Okay. All right. So anyway, go ahead, baby. Back in, um, I talked to him about the endocannabinoid system and so on. And he turned around and explained to me that in the early 80s, while he was in college, he wrote about it. He believes that it works. He believes in it. And he better than um, any other medication out there. With that also being said, the college girl, I will just call her Miss K. The college chick, it's Miss C. <laughs> Whatever. That's why I changed <laughs> I it to it K. <laughs> I changed it I know, to K when you matter. just blasted. Yeah. Anyhow, <laughs> she, t with that being said, she is in her 20s going for her nursing degree. We have a daughter that is in ninth grade. Guess what they talked about yesterday in school? Oh, that's right. Yeah. I didn't Cannabis. get a chance. Cannabis. So, it's okay for us to teach our ninth graders about how bad cannabis is, but yet it is proven in the medical field that it works, and we can't teach our nurses? Yeah. Well, no, like I that. know what you're saying. You're not saying disband the federal government and fuck you, get out of here, guys. No. I'm just saying, I don't know, it just seems a little colonial to me, you know what I mean? The states are governing them, I, I, don't, know, I don't know, maybe it's just me. But a uh, little quick uh, traffic report, we just got on, um, this is to be expected at this time in the morning, folks. Um, if you're joining us and you're in the area and you're traveling, um, to be expected at this time, you know, 7 o'clock in the morning when we used to do the show, you're, you're talking some serious shit, but... Uh, Traffic's moving. I'm doing 75 miles an hour on on uh, the Suncoast Parkway or the Veterans Expressway, and um, it's it's we got a light drizzle, but you know I think the weather's supposed to be real shitty today. Looked at the uh, radar and all that rain that's been looming around us for days and all that shit I've been showing you, right. still sitting around, still sitting around. So yeah, I told you. You mentioned uh, you mentioned Donald Trump earlier, baby, and uh, I know we have different views on that. So I want him to be president. I'll be honest with you. I, I want Trump for president, um, and I understand you're not too sure. You you don't know. What the hell does he know about the government? Big deal. You can run a business. He owns his own. What does any politician company? know about government until they get into government? That's right. what they've been doing their whole life. Nah, well, okay, yeah, I guess, because when you get into politician, uh, politics, you, just become president. you start in high school, correct? Yeah. Class president and all of that kind of stuff. That's basically, that's usually where the, the process starts, I'm assuming. I don't know, I wasn't a very good student in college, folks, or in high school for that matter. So, you know, um, moving on. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I would assume that's where politics start. Every, anyone who's anyone in politics got started in high school, I would say, right? I would say. You okay. have to learn about history before you can go forward. And to me, I would have been, I would have loved it. I, I should have got into politics because I absolutely love our country's history. I love it 100%. You couldn't get into politics because your name is Kennedy. Oh, I'd be dead already. Are you kidding me? 
the minute they they put me in any freaking position where I had any sort of power, they'd shoot my ass. Kaplow! And then this and that's kind of what I'm afraid of. Would would I was really afraid. I got to be honest with you, folks. I talked about it a long time ago on talk shit. When Obama on the inaugural speech, I, I figured there was going to be some white supremacist from Alabama, Mississippi, Louisiana, somewhere down there, and one of them states was going, oh, hell no, this boy ain't my president, and he was going to get popped. I, I, I don't know, man. <laughs> Trump might be looking at the same fucking fate, you know what I mean? My problem is with, uh, speaking of getting shot, he wants to put up a wall? I love it. I love it. What are we, we have a fence line right now. What are we, you in Germany? Have, have you ever driven by that border, Michelle? You, no. You know You've I have never seen it. I know. I'm just, it's radio. I have to make the point. I have to, I have to, you know, we have to stretch it. So yes, people, I've never seen it. It's a fucking fence. Explicit. It's, it's really a fence. I marked it explicit. It's a fence. In some places, it's nothing but a fence like you would see here on the highway. Yes, they have patrol towers. Yes, they have motion sensors. Yes, they have freaking uh, um, infrared cameras. But let's face it. How many of these illegal immigrants are coming across into our country and taking our money out of our country or causing problems in our country, committing crimes? It's Enough is enough. Enough is enough. Texas and Arizona are the most unprotected borders we've had, we have. Some of those um, properties up against the, the Rio Grande are private land. It's not. The, the people Mexican. you could swim right across is what I'm uh, saying, man. I know, but you said they come over here. It's not Mexican doing all the robbing, killing, no, fighting, whatever. No, no. It's I, not blacks. It's not... I said it's, cartels, and I didn't say Mexicans, did I? Yeah. I did? Yeah. I'm sorry. It is Mexican cartels that are... We have drug problems and shit. I'm talking that's the main gateway for terrorists that they're getting into our... our they're coming up through Honduras and, and, and all of that. What are they saying? Respect. They were just like the Mexicans been coming. To fly planes for 9/11 we here taught in them. Florida. We taught them. And how do you think they got here? By sneaking in illegally or by some fucking loophole in INS immigration? Shut the borders down. We want to make this country safe. That is a priority to us. Shut the borders down. They need to be closed. They. they it's. It just has to be. We got about five minutes left already, folks. Show went quick this morning. That's what happens when you're driving and you're talking at the same time. Good show, by the way. I wish I could have had, uh, you know, the chat window up and we could have joined some people in the chat room, but it's not easy while we're driving. And, um... There's congestion. There is congestion at Waters Avenue. Uh, so... No, from Congress to Waters. From Congress to Waters, yeah. So it'll slow down from... 70 to 60. It's <laughs> still good. Uh, dude can get a ticket for all that dirt sitting on the edge of his thing there. Dump truck driving down the highway with a, with a little bit of dirt sitting on the back of his truck. Get a freaking hell of a ticket for that. But, um, yeah. Another show down where this is uh, day four being back on the air. Apologize for such a long, uh, short show. I know you guys are used to a three hour ride with us. But, um, again, listen, you know, Talk Shit Radio is back. We're going to do the best we can until we get up in the new studio. Then there'll be a lot of changes. It'll be a slow process. We're not giving up. I never have and never will. Um, thanking everybody who listens. I'm not too sure how many people are getting the live show, but I do know we are getting a lot of uh, on-demand plays, and I want to thank everyone for that. Um, to me, that's still loyalty, and I want to thank you guys for being loyal. Uh, we get back on our feet. We're going to have a bunch of T-shirts and stickers and all of this kind of shit for giveaways. I know yesterday I was telling you if you want a sticker, they're a dollar right now, talk shit sticker. They're a buck right now, but, you know, once we get the new batch, um, we're going to give away um, a whole shitload of, of, of new stuff, new T-shirts and all sorts of things, folks. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and end the uh, broadcast uh, here. we got about three and a half minutes left. But I don't want to get caught in this congestion being on the radio talking to you guys. I really appreciate it. Um, everyone have a freaking wonderful day. I know I'm going to hear. And uh, Silent Mission, anything else, baby?
be good to one another. Be good to one another. That is probably the best thing that we've said the whole show. All right. Peace out. It's Talk Shit Radio. We're gone.